A place of magnificent beauty, shrouded in history and myth. Mount Pilatu stands high above Lucerne, Switzerland, and is the setting of Stephen Reinecke's symphonic band piece, Pilatus, Mountain of Dragons. Lucerne was founded in the 8th century and is currently the most populous city in north-central Switzerland. Known for its natural beauty, its location on the shores of Lake Lucerne, and the stunning sights of Mount Pilatus in the distance, tourists travel from far and wide to explore the city and travel up to the summit of Mount Pilatus, which stands 6,943 feet above sea level. Tourists far and wide come to awe at the natural brilliance and inspiring views from Mount Pilatus and enjoy all that the mountain has to offer. Mount Pilatus is known for something else as well, dragon sightings and the myths of good-natured dragons that live in the caves of Mount Pilatus. These medieval legends have left a footprint on the culture of Lucerne and Pilatus. So when composer Stephen Reinecke was asked to commission a piece for the 50th anniversary of the Youth Wind Orchestra of Lucerne, it was only natural to compose a piece that pays homage to the folklore of their culture. The world premiere of Pilatus Mountain of Dragons was given on May 31, 2002 in the Culture and Congress Center Performance Hall at the base of Mount Pilatus. Born in 1970 in Cincinnati, Ohio, Reinecke is the current music director of the New York Pops and a frequent guest conductor of major orchestras around the world. As a composer, he is known for enthusiasm, exceptional artistry, and for composing programmatic works. Pilatus' Mountain of Dragons is a programmatic tone poem for symphonic band with a story that resonates with the medieval fables of Pilatus. The piece opens as Mount Pilatus slumbers at night, shrouded in darkness and mystery among the clouds high above Lucerne. As dawn breaks, a small band of adventurers climb Pilatus in search of dragons to slay. After an arduous journey filled with breathtaking views and terrestrial beauty, the adventurers finally stumble across a dragon lair. They awaken the mighty dragon, who battles the intruders on his domain. All but one adventurer are mortally wounded. He begs for mercy and forgiveness from the dragon.
the dragon demonstrates great compassion and gives the adventurers a magical stone from his own wounds in order to heal and save the intruders. So, the dragon places compassion and tolerance in the hearts and minds of man, leading them to a happy and peaceful coexistence with the dragons of Pilatus for the rest of time.